It's September 19th. You know what that means. Unless you don't. It be talk like a pirate day. Arr, matey. Swab the deck. A couple notes on what you just saw. One, I don't know what that accent is. And two, I thought I had a bandana, like, piratey, right? But I didn't, but I found a bow tie. So, it's a thing now. So for today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to become a pirate, cause you know you wanna. I am such a pirate expert. Um, me and pirates go way back. When I was about 11 or 12, me and my two best friends tried to write our own screenplay that was a shameless ripoff of Pirates of the Caribbean. I believe the protagonist's name was Kiera. I was also a pirate for Halloween when I was 10, so as you can see, I have over a decade of pirate experience. And one of the easiest ways to be a pirate is to talk like a pirate. So first start by saying arr a lot. Uh, you can use it instead of uh, or you know, or like, as a conversational filler. So I was going to arr, go to the grocery store today, but then there were arr these big storm clouds, and I was arr, I'm just gonna stay home. Arr! Most importantly, call all of your friends matey. Matey, arr, how's it going there? I don't know you. One of pirates' favorite things is treasure. One of pirates' favorite things are treasure. One of, but then treasure is multiple. What's one of pirates' favorite things? No, that's worse. Pirates love treasure. So you should have lots of treasure in your ship. Saying this has made me realize just how little there is in my room that could qualify as treasure. I still have a broken can opener because apparently I stuck with it for so long that I feel like it would be quitting to throw it away despite the fact that it has no blade. This is the opposite of how I handle romantic relationships. I have this empty tricolor ink cartridge that I'm currently just treasuring the heck out of. I also have a printer that won't print because it doesn't have a tricolor ink cartridge. One important piece of treasure is a vessel with which to carry your fresh water because you're out at sea. Um, mine is slightly melted from going through the dishwasher which probably means it's not safe to drink from. But that's not gonna stop me, because I'm a pirate. Okay, this is some proper pirate treasure, right? It's jewelry, it's shiny, it is the pull tab from a monster can on an earring hook. Let me just put that in, and if you have an earring on one side and not on the other, uh, that is very piratey fashion. You are looking good now. Now one of the most important factors of being a pirate is drinking. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. I learned this from Pirates of the Caribbean at a young age. Why is the rum always gone? Because I am such a good pirate, I had this bottle of rum just right here in my ship. This very tough, gritty sailor's rum is called Flip Flop and I bought it at Trader Joe's. I bought it solely for the reason that it was $4 and I was curious. This tastes the way that rubbing alcohol smells, but less sweet. Danny Iron Man, you wanna be a pirate with me? Yeah, I do. Well, we have some piratey things to do. Uh, Iron Man's got his eye on the flip-flop. So, till next week, Plunder away. Why couldn't the little pirate see the movie? Because it was rated R.